All right, so I'm making this quick video today to help you understand how to track your food using a food scale accurately and how to avoid some of the pitfalls and the mistakes of using scoops and spoons because as you're going to see, it's not always the most accurate or the best method when you're trying to track as accurately as possible. Now in this first example, I'm using this product called Chocomeister, which is very similar to Nutella. Uh, it's also very similar to peanut butter. So if you've been using a tablespoon to measure your peanut butter or your Nutella or Chocomeister, you might think twice after seeing this. On the label, you're going to see that it reads as one serving is two tablespoons or 37 grams. For sake of this example, we'll cut it in half and assume that one tablespoon is equal to 18 grams. Now as you'll see, I use somewhat of a rounded scoop, which let's admit it, most people do, and I get 27 grams. So if you were to compare this to a standard serving, you'd be getting 54 grams instead of 37 grams. And when you do the math, that's almost 1.5 times more than you would think you were getting if you just used a spoon alone. Now that's almost 100 calories extra that you're not accounting for. Now if you had this multiple times per day or multiple times per week, it'd be easy to go over your desired intake by a few hundred calories every day. The next example I'm using is rice. Now many people will cook their rice by measuring out a cup of dry rice and putting it into a pot or a rice cooker. The problem with this is it's easy to get more than you think, especially if you're just relying on measuring cups alone. Since the standard serving size is 1 fourth a cup or 42 grams, my measuring cup starts at half a cup so I'm going to go ahead and start with 84 grams as the standard here. As you'll see here, I'm just eyeballing and trying to get half a cup, I actually got a little bit more and you can see there it's more than half a cup and it's also 138 grams so it's way more than 84 like I originally wanted. So here's me trying to pour it back into the bag and making rice go everywhere. And instead of just trying to eyeball it again, I zeroed it out and now I'm just measuring it out to about 42 grams here just by pouring it in until I see the scale actually hit 42 grams. And this would be what you want to do if you want to measure out like a half cup or a cup to put in the cooker so you would know exactly how much you're getting for your meals. Here I'm using a half tablespoon to measure out the protein powder. The recommended serving is two rounded tablespoons, as you'll see on the container, or about 12 grams. As you'll see, I'll need four of these half tablespoon scoops to get the suggested serving amount. As you notice, it works out pretty well, but my third scoop had two grams, while my fourth scoop had four grams. In the end, I think it's better to weigh this out on the scale so you can get the total amount of grams that you want instead of relying on the scoop itself. And lastly, I'm weighing out some fresh pineapple, and what I'm doing here is I'm just putting the bowl plus the pineapple on the scale and setting it to zero. And then I'm going to pour out the pineapple on a plate that I'm going to use for my meal later. Then I set the empty bowl back on the scale, and it tells me how much pineapple was in the bowl. And then I just go ahead and enter that information into chronometer, and it tallies it up for me for the day. And then I know how many carbohydrates I got from the pineapple for that meal.